What was that? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened to my stream? I just was in and then I was out. I feel like my stream is back. I don't even know. I don't know what's going on again, but <laughs> let's let's try this one more again. One more time. Good morning. Happy Friday to everybody who is out there. Welcome back to the old fashioned show. I am your host, Admar Richardson. There's no Alex Dunlap in here today. Just me riding solo dolo, uh, but still uh, ready to give you guys a fun Friday. So good morning to everybody. Good morning to Richard. Good morning to everybody who is here in the chat. Happy to see everybody here. Maybe show put the chat on the screen real quick so we can see everybody who's in here. There we go. There we go. Money B, don't be calling me out of my CP time. Be calling me out of my CP time. Yep. You already know if it's about two or three days, about two or three minutes late. Oh, you already know Unk's gonna be solo. <laughs> you already know. You should know, like, uh-oh. There you go. Mm. But good morning to everybody. I'm gonna uh be talking to y'all today um about the spring game uh i'm gonna give you guys kind of some five things that i want to watch and listen i understand that today's a friday it's a payday for y'all some of you guys are going to be traveling uh, to austin maybe today but potentially maybe tomorrow morning no matter what it is please be safe on those roads but i understand that y'all going to listen to it and then all of a sudden you you know you, you you don't need an hour two hours anything like that so i'm going to condense this show a little bit for you guys to give you exactly what you want before we get get into everything. So there's five things that I'm going to be watching uh, heading into this spring game, and let's go ahead and let's go ahead go, go ahead and, and get into it and bring these captions up. And good morning to everybody. Good morning to you, Richard. I will see you out there tonight. In fact, I just want to make sure before I go too far, just to remind everybody who is out there tonight. If you've got nothing to do, what I need you to do is come on out to the pitch for an OB Orange Bloods happy hours. That's right, friends, enemies, haters, I don't care who you are. Come on out tonight, eight, tonight from 6 to 9 p.m. at the pitch. It's going to be a fun time that's going to be had by all. So make sure, hey, before, you know, you guys are thinking, oh, coming into town, like, what am I going to do? How am I going to, where am I going to hang out? Who are going to be with? We got you covered tonight at the pitch, 6 to 9 p.m. Make sure y'all come out. I will be there at some point. I got some things that are going on uh, at the pitch that at that time frame that I'll tell you guys about, but I will definitely will be there. Hold on. And last thing, hold on. Last thing I need to do. Hold on. I just got to mute. All right. I got to mute, uh, mute our channel. Too many, too many for notifications during my show. All right. So now that we got that taken care of, there's five things I'm going to be keeping an eye on during the spring game. And look, you might have your five. Okay, this is just my five. This is just your own five things that I plan to kind of keep an eye on in the spring game. And let me give you the first thing I will be watching going into the spring game. It's everything that you guys are going to be watching, which is going to be the weather. <laughs> it's I mean, it's the thing that we got to keep an eye on as relates to the spring game, because I don't know how this thing is going to go. Look, I feel like whenever whatever I, website I get on. It's all kinds of different information as relates to weather. You probably have your favorite weather websites. I don't get that deep into the weather, so I don't. I can't tell y'all what what's the best, whether it's AccuWeather, whether it's weather.com, or there's some other websites that you guys get on. I can tell you this. I got on one website uh, this morning. I think it was weather.com, and, and this is what they had uh, that posted up here. When they start talking about the chances of rain. So weather.com states that there's going to be rain showers in the morning with thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, potential for heavy rainfall, a uh, high near 70. Uh, and of course, winds in the Northeast doesn't matter, but about a 90% chance of rain. Now, depending on what other forecasts or things that you look at, I've seen things that have said that, hey, it's going to rain, but I mean, it may be just like sprinkling in the afternoon. And look, Crystal Connie, 
was asked about this thing, right? And Chris Del Conte, you know, someone asked him, hey, you know, I know we got some strong weather coming in on Saturday. Any word yet at the spring game will be played or canceled? Chris Del Conte went ahead and said, hey, we are going to go give it a go. All reports we received are chances of light rain in the morning. With the majority of the weather evening, evening, keep the faith. By the way, is that like a black fist that 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 Chris Delconi is using? Like it's a slightly brown fist when you kind of kind of look at it, because you look at the 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 hookem sign. That's like some, <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling you certain things you just notice. It got I looked at it. I'm like Chris Delconi, you down with the brows? And I let me know something, Chris. I'm gonna have to call him after the show. I had to find out what's going on. So, but it does look like it does look like my fist, though, doesn't it? It look it looked like a brown hand. I, I see you. I see you, Chris. I see you, Chris. I see you. I, I like it. Um, so we got to see what happens as relates to the weather uh this up this upcoming weekend. Um, here's the deal as relates to that. Is and no 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 it's it's it, it, no a black fist is definitely not black face Benji that's 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 a bridge too far Benji don't go that far dog come on back come on back that is fine you know that that is fine he just he just likes it but black fist is no 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 don't go that don't go there don't go there peace love and harmony you know what I'm about um so I, listen hopefully this game is played because. I don't really see scenarios. I know I was talking to Alex about it yesterday. I don't, I don't see scenarios where it's really postponed and played another week or anything like that. Like any of y'all who've done event planning understand all that goes into planning an event. And so you start thinking about what it takes to plan for a stadium event. And you, when you start talking about vendors that need to be there, when you start talking about security, when you start talking about police that you have to hire, when you start talking about uh, the personnel that needs to work the facility, you talk about the groundskeeping school, like there's so many things that you got that you can think of that go into it. It's hard to just to say, I ah, will just do that next week. <laughs> you, you know, if you've done event plan, you understand you just can't do that thing next week right so I, I i think that has to be a game that hopefully is played uh this upcoming weekend and then we get a chance to you know to kind of go from there so the make the first thing i'm going to be keeping an eye on is definitely going to be the weather and that's the thing that everyone else i think is good y'all gonna be keeping an eye on that as well and again be safe for those those of you who are driving in be safe on those roads because you know what happens especially in texas it's like it gets it starts raining, people lose their mind. They just forget how to drive. They just absolutely forget how to drive. It's ridiculous. So be careful on those roads if you, don't, if you decide to make um that decision to come out here. The second one is going to be an interesting one. The second one I want you guys to really hunker down and, and listen to me uh as far as that is concerned. Uh, and did I see a super chat that came in? I did see a super chat that came in. Uh, first of all, hold on, there's a couple that I missed. So let me get this up. Uh, first and foremost, that my main man Tom G is in the house with his super chat. Ten dollars. All right, I see you, Tom. Hopefully, I see you tonight as well. If you're coming uh tonight, uh Tom, text me um after the show. Um, Tom G says, Weather be damn, leave it for Austin in a few hours. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess you are coming. <laughs> but I tell you, I don't read ahead on these things. I literally do not read ahead. Uh, leaving for Austin in a few, a few hours. Looking forward to seeing you all at the OB Mixer tonight. Come on, Tom. Hey, listen, Tom. Hey, listen. If the game, get, if the, if the game just for some reason gets canceled, you just come over to my crib. You can hang out. <laughs> all right? You got an open invitation, Tom. You can come over to my crib, hang out. You can have what's left. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Tom, I drank that vodka. I drank it a couple of weeks ago. It was fantastic. I meant to send you some pictures of it. I'll send you some pictures after the show. Anyway, that's a personal conversation with Tom and I. You guys don't need to be bored before all those conversations. But he did buy me a nice bottle of vodka. And I did partake in that. I had a nice celebration. So I wanted to let you know. About, on Easter, actually, I had it, uh, Tom. So uh then want to do that. Uh, another super chat that's come in. Uh, Billy Bird says, um, Billy Bird, yeah, that's a super chat that came in. Uh, Alamo Bowl should always be the backup plan. If that was a buy or sell, I would absolutely sell on that one, Billy Bird. We have to sell on that. We got, we got, we got to sell on that. And San Antonio can't be the backup plan, Billy. Like, there's got, there's got to be something. And look, 
I'm in San Antonio all the time, but that's a little bit too far. And, you know, I don't know how Jeff Trailer would feel about those kind of things. Like, I just, I, I, I get what you're saying, but I think the backup plan, unfortunately, always has to be the, the bubble. Uh, because now you're talking logistics. Not now you're talking about getting the team down there, buses. Secu- I mean, there's a there that that's that's like a road game. So I think that's a little bit harder, Billy. I like where your head's at as far as everything is concerned. Uh, but yeah, and by the way, Sandman, I love your attempt at um super chats, but y'all don't fall for the hype. That's not a real super chat. Uh <laughs> yes, I might I might consider opening up my crib to a I might. I don't know if I want y'all degenerates at my house, but may- maybe I'll-, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. There's a potential. I'm in a good mood. I might. I might. I'll think about it. All right. So here's the second one five of my five things to watch, though. Five things to watch. Second one here is this, which is going to be the workload of Quinn Ewers. I don't know why you talk about the workload of Quinn Ewers. What, like, what does this mean? Well, Here's what you need to know as relates to tomorrow. Talk to some people. Talk to my sources. It does not, on paper, look like Quinn Ewers is going to play a lot tomorrow. Um, what I've been told is that, now, for, for a Texas fan, this is a good thing. You know, as you as, as a spectator, you, you may or may not feel a certain type of way, but as a Texas fan, you should feel, you should feel really good. What I've been told is, Quinn had a great, and they, they just, a great spring. The practices looked good. He was crisp. He was sharp. He was all those kind of things. And the feeling is, as going into the Saturday is, 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 is that, you know what? Don't really need to see much of him. He don't really need to do much more. They feel like it actually would be better to give those other guys a look and have those guys come along so they can feel like they've they, they solidify the backup quarterback position. Ar- get Arch Manning some more reps uh, to get Trey uh, some more reps. So because that's the way everything is trending, I, you know, I always got to give myself a caveat. So when I said, I know someone asked me like, okay, well, you said on paper. I saw I saw it on there. I, I, I say on paper just because, you know, you, you I always want to give myself an out. Right, I just always want to give myself an out that the that the potential is there. But from what I've been told, Quinn is probably not going to play a lot tomorrow. You're probably going to get a heavy dose of Arch, a heavy dose of Trey Owens. Could be some cold Lord time. Y'all know how about my four string quarterbacks? <laughs> I've been needing somebody to replace Charles Wright, and now it's going to be the mighty cold Lord. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know I love my four string quarterbacks, man. So no, but all jokes aside, though, all jokes aside, um, there's probably going to be a lot of that. There, you'll probably see a lot more arch. And, and what's going to happen? Let's just be honest with you. What's going to happen? Y'all know this. What's going to happen is we're going to there's going to be a heavy dose of arch, and arch is probably going to do certain things well. And then of course there's going to be a national perspective, and you're going to hear people on ESPN and Fox and. Uh, Sirius Radio, which I was on their show, uh, Nicole Arbach and, and EJ Manuel had me on yesterday. They had me on uh, once every couple of weeks. So shout out to them. Um, they won't be. They won't. I don't think they'll be delusional, but other people will be delusional um, as far as like, oh my gosh, is Art's gonna push? So uh, you, you guys know that. And so when you see it on social media, you'll already know. Hey, I told you like Arch is clickbait. It's easy. It's easy uh, checking the boxes there. Uh, but so. No, nonetheless, the workload, not only of Quinn, but where, where is, uh, where's, where's Sorrell? Where's Sorrell? 88 is still great. I hear his workload is going to be reduced. I hear Jada Barron's workload is going to be reduced. But Jada has been dealing with like some injuries, as you guys know, what Steve Sarkeesian said. So there, what? here's what I would tell you. when you go, If you're going to go to the spring game, go into this with the expectation that – you probably you may not it, view it like this might be an NFL preseason game. I think that's the best way to view it. This is gonna be it, it, it's probably gonna be like an NFL preseason game where your starters play a few snaps, your key guys play a few snaps, and then the backups come in. And I think that's what you're going to see 
on Saturday. At least that's what the plan is, unless something just drastically changes tonight. And Steve Sarkeesian says, out of hell with it. I'm going to play everybody a little bit long. I'm going to put on a show. But just view this thing like that. So you should get a heavy. You should, again, be happy that Quinn did well this spring and also get ready for a dose of Arch Manning and, of course, Trey Owens. And one thing I want you guys when you start thinking about doses and you start thinking about coming here for the spring, and I've got a couple of more things for you guys to watch, uh, make sure you go to Specs. I mean, make sure you hit Specs up for the best prices in beer, wine, and spirits. And you've got, and you're thinking to yourself, what am I going to do? What am I going to bring to Onward's house? I'm pretty sure he invited me. <laughs> but I might let you in if you've gone to Specs. Meeting Specs same day delivery can save the day with our Specs app or online shopping. From world class wines to hard to find spirits and craft beers to gourmet foods, delicious snacks, and spectacular sweets. It's Specs. Cheers to savings. And <laughs> cheers to you and cheers to everybody who is here in the house watching the damn thing. I know Tom G is going to be in the house, and I guarantee you, my main man, El Presidente, Eric Sells Holmes, is going to be in the house as well. If you, <laughs> if you are looking for a home in the DFW area, y'all don't show up at my house. I, I please understand the joke. I want to make sure everybody understands the joke. Do not show up at my house. I, it will not go over well. <laughs> but if you're looking to buy a house in the DFW area, make sure you check out my main man, El Presidente. He's got you covered. Eric Sells Homes, DFW. Looking to buy, looking to sell, whatever it is. He's been with the master plan. Got you covered. El Presidente himself. Y'all check my main man out. All right. Third thing I'm going to be watching. And again, and, and by the way, I see what you say. Who said they're going to be watching the wide receivers? Somebody said they're going to be watching the wide receivers. Um, I'll get to that in a second, though. Don't don't you don't jump ahead. Uh, but I, I like where your head's at. Here's the, the third thing though I will be watching as it relates to the spring game on Saturday. It's going to be these defensive tackles. Now, let's just keep it a buck. And I've said this before, okay. You know, when, when Sark has gone into the transfer portal, we've seen him going after receivers. We've seen him going after um, linebackers, right? They picked up a Keelan Robinson the other year. The DBs, like a Makuba, you know, picked up. We saw Ryan Watts the previous year, right? You, we've seen them go into the portal and get guys, right? So you're about the defensive tackle position. Not a position that we never see him go into the portal and, and even kick the tires on. You don't ever see it on offensive line. Never. You don't ever hear about, oh, such, such and such offensive lineman went into the portal. Uh, Texas is interested in them. Never hear that. Never hear that, right? And so why? Because that position is solid. Probably got too many players, to be just being honest with you, right? The fact that they're kicking the tires on defensive tackles so aggressively in the spring it's kind of my alarm. My ding, 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 ding. What's up, Binks? Ding, ding. Like, hey, they want to upgrade that position, right? That that's my alarm. Like when the, the when there was a possibility of Bear Alexander, and it was all chips in on Bear Alexander, and there's like, all right, oh, Bill Norton's gonna be in there. All right, man, let's bring in Bill Norton, and now the kid from TCU is going to is is in there. And they're like, oh, we're gonna kick the tires on it. The fact that they, they're looking at every defensive tackle that comes in the portal, they're like, hey, what you doing? You got, got any plans for like the upcoming season? Because we sure would love to have you. That means to me that they have some concerns about that defensive tackle position. So I need to watch it. I want to see what they're talking about. I want to see what a little bit of the, the things that they're nervous about. And of course, you know, some reporting, you know, I've I've, I've heard that they're, they're, they're not as solid. As far as their belief in these in these tackles, all of them front to bottom. Again, and here's how you know that. You can look at my reporting, which is fine, or you can just look at the facts and the evidence. And the facts and the evidence say, at the end of the day, they're kicking the tires on defensive, every damn defensive tackle that comes in the portal. And I'm obviously I'm over-exaggerating to make a point. It's clearly it's not everybody, but enough 
So I want to see the Alfred Collins. I want to see Vernon Brock. I want to see what those guys look like. And I want to see what they do enough. Not only do enough to maybe fight off some of the, the things and, and, and about the possibilities of guys coming in. I want to see if they do enough to feel good that they want to stay around. Because there's whispers and, and I don't get into a lot of the, the you know, too much of the rumor thing. But you know, you I you know you hear I hear whispers of guys in that room that are thinking about they may want to go ahead and bounce. I, I, I don't know if the staff believes in me. Not, I don't know. We'll see. So I I got my eye on that position. I, I got I got my eye on this because I want to see what Norton would be walking into, but I want to see if there's gonna be other guys that feel like they put enough together to spring to hang around, that they feel like their position is solid. Or there are going to be guys in that room that say to themselves, you know what, I need to find uh, a new home after the spring. That So I've, I've got my eye on that one. The fourth thing I got my eye on is this, okay? Fourth thing I got my eye on is this. And Nate, you're, is there some truth to the, the broad and portal whispers? That's what I'm saying. I hear the rumors as it relates to Vernon Broughton potentially wanting to go into the portal. But the thing is about that, can I just tell y'all, the thing about those things is I see too often, and I see that, and I see a lot of um reporters get burned by doing this. When you start reporting like the rumors of guys going in the portal, they or they thinking about going, man, things change so fast, and a young man may tell they tell, yeah, I'm gonna go into the portal, right? And then something happens, somebody gets some more NIL money, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden. They switch their mind, and that reporter looks foolish, right? And, and and the thing that they may have reported in real time was accurate, but things change so fast. Bear Alexander is a great a great example. He intends to go into the portal. See, I wait until they go. I don't need to be first on the ten because they they <laughs> their intentions can change. These are young people; their intentions can change in in a minute. And I've seen so. so I hear the Broughton stuff. I've heard that. I, I've heard the Broughton thing. But that being said, until it happens, I ain't touching it. I ain't touching it. You'll So you won't trust me. One thing I'm going to make sure for, for you guys, now I, I want to make sure as people watch this show and people support this show that I don't, I don't embarrass you. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll be second. On something like that, because I don't need to be first. Because <laughs> you'll be the first to be wrong. <laughs> I'm messing around with these young folk. Oh, you can't trust these young people. Anyway, Catherine said she got burned like that too. So I got it. I got it. Uh, Money B said, uh, uh, just watch to see if Vernon is on the field tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Trust me. I'll, I'll be second on this one. It's okay. My, fifth, my fourth thing, though, I got to watch Ryan Wink. And when, when I say Ryan Wingo, y'all, I don't mean that at the expense of John T. Cook. Because I don't know. Like, Alex is on this, like, John T. Cook the defense kind of thing. And it's 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 not about – you can praise somebody. It doesn't necessarily mean you're ripping someone down. The receiver who I've heard the most buzz out of, even as of yesterday, has was Ryan Wingo. I heard Ryan Wingo on Thursday practice was was balling out, running with the ones, rotating in. Now they had to have heavy rotation on and during Thursday's practice. But I've heard a lot of great things as it relates to Ryan Wingo. And because I've heard a lot of great things as it relates to him, I want to see it. Why? Because he's a freshman. You know, he's get he's got a lot of buzz. And I just want to see what what all the hype is about. I've heard a lot of comparisons. I've heard a lot of comparisons to NFL players, NFL greats, by the way. And I, you know, I'm not that person. I, again, you know, another thing I don't like to do. Um, um, I don't like to compare people to stuff because if the guy doesn't doesn't pan out, then all of a sudden, like you compare them to such and such. Nah, you ain't gonna throw that in my face. I ain't give you no ammunition. But I can tell you, other people are really hype about him. So I want to see Wingo. Of course, I want to see the other receivers, right? I, I, I tell you, another guy that I want to see too. I, I want to see Matthew Golden. I, I hear. So I, that's another guy who I've heard so many good things about this spring. Like he, he, again, even as of yesterday, 
uh, I heard uh, a lot of good things uh, about him. I look here like Isaiah, of course, Isaiah Bob. I'm just kind of going through my list uh, of guys, but I, I definitely want to see Matthew Golden. You know, I, I want to, I, 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 he, he's a guy that someone told me during Thursday's practice that he made like a spectacular one-handed catch pass wasn't perfect uh and he went across his body one hand tippy toes it and then all and, and then catches a touchdown they said matthew golden was good so i'm I, i'm like oh really i, I, I want to see that too <laughs> you know so i want i'm very curious about matthew uh golden ryan wingo all the receivers quite honest with you I want to see all of those guys. Good morning to you, Jareth, as well. Um, I, 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 the bat, Ryan Wingo, he's on my list of guys that I say to myself, okay, um, has got to see this per- one in person. And then it, there's a there's a fifth one for me. This is my five of my five things. And you guys may have your own, by the way. And then, by the way, if you do have your own, feel free to put that in the, put that on the chat. Put that that thing will be on the screen there for you, everyone else to see. Um, you say, Tom G, didn't we hear the same thing last year about Cook? And this year we hear he is struggling. Huh, Tom, that's a good question. I got to go back in my mental Rolodex on that one as far as what we was hearing about Cook. Um, but honest with you, Tom, I don't remember that offhand, what the reports were about Jante. That does sound somewhat familiar. Um, I, but, I, I, you know, I do know that the, the Jante hype was real. Um but yeah, I can't, you know, the only thing Tom is, I also I gotta treat them like individuals, just 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 out of respect. So I mean, what I hear about Ryan Wingo seems to be true. And I think the other thing too, I be Tom, I think this is what the biggest difference is. If, is that last year, no matter no matter what, John T. Cook had guys in front of him. He had Xavier Worthy that was in front of him, he had Adonai Mitchell that was in front of him, he had John Jordan Winnington. That was in front of him. So whatever position even that he could have played, whether it's outside or inside, he had people in front of him that are going to be in the NFL. This year, we don't have that. You don't have a, a, a whole lot of obstacles or barriers for guys to get on the field. So whether it's Cook, whether it's Wingo, there's a little bit of a difference. So I think the only difference to me, Tom, is you, you, there might be more hype and maybe it's somewhat similar, but I think the obstacles and barriers to get on the field are a little bit different this year than it was for those guys last year um but good good comment of course uh tom and then of course uh the last thing for me uh is it and i say it five because i guess it can be a kind of a combo but i do need to see Jaden blue and cj baxter oh I'm ready to see those guys i listen again i talked to someone yesterday and they, they and they said to me in their mind we're talking about 1A, 1B as relates to Baxter and Blue. So they, is that close? Is that close in the people's mind? Is that close as far as that's concerned? And, and as I heard, we were at practice, but I checked in with some people. And heard that Baxter had a rough day yesterday. Heard that uh, he put the ball on the ground two times during live periods. And that's not the, that's not a death sentence by any stretch of the imagination, but you do understand can't be fumbling the ball. <laughs> it just you can't do that. And so I think Blue has done what he needed to do, which is to make this thing interesting, make this thing close, make this into a conversation. Now, at the end of the day, CJ Space will still be the guy that gets the bulk of the carries. That's all. And, but Blue's going to be somewhere in there. He's going to be in the mix. And so I want to watch them both live and in prime time. I mean, because, yeah, again, I just, when I, when you start talking about guys you've heard, heard a lot about this spring, Blue is a guy I've heard a lot about. So seeing him doing that, continuing on what he's already established and seeing if he can build on that, that's there. And Sam, man, you, the fumble thing. When you say that, that's funny you say that, Sandman. Someone told me the exact same thing. Not that they cost him the Sugar Bowl, but there's like that thing that happened in the Sugar Bowl happened on Thursday. And I was like, what are you talking about? 
And then they told me about Baxter fumbling twice during the practice, during live period. So we're not talking about uh, contact. Like no one's bringing anyone down to the ground kind of thing. So we're, so that was like, someone was like, man, I don't, don't love that. So let's just see. Let's just see. You know, again, I still think at the end of the day, Baxter ends up being the number one guy. But I just want to be able to see what that thing looks like. So for me, just kind of a, a, a quick review of the five things I'm going to keep an eye on. Number one, it's going to be the weather. <laughs> and again, go to your f- favorite weather channel and figure out what's going on and hit me up. I do not show up at my house. <laughs> I repeat, these things are jokes. <laughs> Showing up at my house will not be, you know, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I once, man, <laughs> like the world's crazy. So like a few years ago, I was, um, I started talking to someone that I met on like one of these uh, like uh, dating things. I don't know, that was like t- Bumble or something like that, right? And she and I start talking, right? And I had said something about like, you know, I was joking about like, man, I need some reading glasses or something like that, right? And I was like, yeah, I need to get some nice little designer readers or something like that. We were just talking, I don't want to be talking for like a week or two, something to that effect, right? But like two days later, I, re- I looked down and I got an Amazon package. And I'm like, I don't remember or anything from Amazon, but you know, sometimes for Amazon, the thing may have taken two days, three days, maybe it was a week or something like that. I don't know, right? So I go and I look and I realize and I open it up, and it's these, these is a package of these like cool, nice designer reading glasses. And I realized that she had sent it to me based off the conversation. Now that seems cool and nice. The problem is. I had she had never been to my house and I had never told her where I live. So that meant she had to go look on property records, look that thing up, and of course see my whole history, and then go and then to do that. And I was like, yo, that's a little bit, that's a little, you do a little bit too crazy for me. So I like, I'm out, <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. So doll, let's let let's learn. Don't show up at my house and don't send me things unexpected because that'll freak me out. I'll just think you're crazy and I'll just go and it's not going to go over well. Do not show up at my house. <laughs> Y'all keep the crazy ones. <laughs> Second thing I want, I want to keep an eye on is the workload of Quinn Ewers. Like I said, what I'm hearing is that Quinn Ewers is not going to play a lot, but that's going to be a lot of the starters, not just Quinn. Uh, a lot of those guys have already put in the work, have done exactly what they needed to do. And so I hear that you, those guys may run a few series. And then outside of that, it's gonna be it's gonna be a wrap. So um, no, yeah. So so let, I'm gonna keep an eye on the workload of Quinn, and then we get a good chance to see what the backups look like as well. So I think you get a good chance to see a good dose of a lot of the second teamers that are out there. But we're gonna should get a good dose of Arch, get good, good dose of uh, Trey Owens, to get a good dose of everybody uh, that's out there. Hello to you, Sonny. I'm gonna make, make sure. Uh, that we pitch it as well. Sonny, I should have, you know, I thought about Sonny. I actually thought about having you come on the show today for about three or four minutes to actually talk about the event tonight. And I just forgot to send you the link. So I forgot to tell you about it, but I'll make sure I promo it as well. But I should have done it. I should have. That was a really good idea that I had. That was an internal thought and not an external one. But Sonny, if you're sitting at home and you got nothing to do, I'll send you a link. You can hop on. Uh, but you got to do it with like the next two or three minutes. Uh, the other thing that I'm looking at and uh, will be number three is they're going to be the defensive tackles. Want to keep an eye on Alfred Collins, Vernon Broughton. Of course, there's rumors as it relates to Broughton, but I consider those rumors. Look at all these rumors around me every day. <laughs> Just need some time, some time to get away. So we'll see what happens. That's an old school song, by the way, if you don't know that one. Uh, I'm going to be looking at not only Ryan Wingo, but all the receivers that are out there. Sandman is going to be looking, obviously, at offensive line. Uh, and then, of course, for me, Jaden Blue and C.J. Baxter. And uh, also, because what Sonny was talking about. Sonny wasn't going to come on because she probably hasn't done her hair or something like that. Sonny, we're from home, too. So, you know, so people work from home, you know, they don't do their hair. They don't do their makeup. You know, all those kind of things. So she probably ain't ready. She can't hop on right away. So it's okay, Sonny. I'll see you later tonight 
Orange Club. No, she, but she's talking about the Orange Bloods spring game mixer, the pitch tonight from 6 to 9 p.m. Make sure you come on out. If you've got nothing to do on a Friday night, come out. If you've got plan, bring the family out. I'm going to bring my kids out there as well. So bring the family out there. Come on out. We're going to have a good. Wait, why do I have that last thing up there? Hold on one second. Too many damn things going on at one time. All right, here we go. All right, <laughs> thank you. Come on out tonight at the pitch. I believe it's a. Uh, if you're looking for the address, hold on. I was just there. I believe it's 700 Performance Drive. I believe that's the address that's out there. Hold on, let me look uh, on my phone. If you need to go ahead and you're asking to yourself, like, where is this pitch? I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah, 700 performance drive in austin texas i'm out there a lot so that's why i know i actually have the address memorized come out tonight to the pitch so it's now we're going to have a mixer the entire orange blood staff will be out there i'll be out there some of you got some of you people i think money b said he's gonna come on out uh i think uh Catherine says she's coming out. Tom G said he's gonna he's gonna be out there. It's gonna be a lot of people who say uh, that they're gonna be out there. Mike Torres, are you gonna be out there tonight? Mike, I need you to come out there tonight. There's some Austin FC activities to come out there. I need you to hang with me. Uh, so nonetheless, make sure you guys do that. I'm I'm not entertaining um, that. And and, and y'all, what is that, Catherine? You are all you need. Okay. Okay, I, all right, all right, I, I'm leaving that, I'm leaving that chat alone. I, don't, I y'all shoot y'all shot. I'm not, I'm, I'm not hating on anybody. Um, I will see you guys out there tonight. You guys enjoy yourself. My kids have got some field day thing at school, so I'm about to head over there and check them out. Drive safely. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. We'll have a post game show tomorrow, so make sure you guys come out there as well. Um, let's come to ch- ch- tune in live tomorrow, uh, because we will have, I think we're going to have a watch along tomorrow plus a post game show. So uh, come back tomorrow. We'll talk about everything spring related. Uh, you guys take care. Enjoy your Friday. T- remember why I always say live each day like it's your last. Cause one day it will be, we'll talk soon. See you guys tonight. Y'all be safe.